now in classes we have defined these kind of variables although i have the 19th folder and everything is inside the 19th one so i was saying that we have these uh, properties but we can define the rules for these property or i can say the visibility rule for these properties so how we can learn about that suppose we are having this x and we can simply go here and i say hey we have this x and let's change the value to something like this and now if i run it you can see we are easily able to change the value of x and this is not good because we have defined here when we initialize the class and that's the purpose of having this value so this is not good and to protect this thing we can assign the visibility for these properties so how we can define the visibility thing so i can say that hey this variable x or property x is just a protected one so as soon as i did this as soon as i said that hey these two are protected here it says that hey you cannot add any value to the protected uh, property so i can remove it but the point here is now next problem is if you cannot even access the value so if i try yes we are getting but you can see this uh, type of script is uh, warning us that hey it's not good to read the property directly so what we can do for this we can simply create a method and i call it get x which is going to return this dot x and by doing this i can simply say hey get me the x and since it's a method i can call this one and now it's working fine with no error from the typescript side so this is once again easy and we can assign the visibility property here also so i can say this is going to be a public method or maybe pro protected method just like this you can see once again it's giving the problem so we can simply say hey it's a public method that's really great so now what if i have a protected method called abc something like that and if i try to say point dot you can see we are only getting the suggestion for get x if this class is in some module then user will never know about the class abc and similar to this user will never know about the property called x and y user will only going to know about the get x method which we have defined it as a public but you may have seen or may know that one more type is there which is called private so if i change it to private and let's see what's going to happen nothing is breaking nothing is complaining so what is the change now here the difference between protected and private is that in private the variables or the properties actually are inside accessible only inside the class now suppose i have another class called my coordinate okay and i want to extend this coordinate class okay now let's have the my coordinate okay now inside this i want to create this get method not on the con coordinate i want that method inside my coordinate because we have defined this properties as a private then only this class can access it not any other uh, subclass or any other class which extend the coordinate and that's why we are getting this error although once again if we try to run it we are getting the value but that's not a issue because typescript is complaining about this so what we can do to solve this we can once again convert this to protected once you do that you can see now this this my coordinate class is not complaining about this dot x and we can easily able to run it
okay so this means here you can actually set also the value so public set x okay so this dot x is equal to let's say setting x with the value we are getting with the value and make sure it's a number okay so what we can do here we have defined 44 now let's say point dot and now we have two method let's use the set for 5 5 55 and then we run it we get the 55 this is because we can easily able to access this property inside this uh, inside this my coordinate since we have the protected what if we have the private and we try to assign the value and once more once again you can see it's not having any uh, happiness phase <laughs> the type of script is not happy about these things so one more thing we have we understand the public private and protected now let's see the getter and setter so to understand the getter and setter let's create a simple getter function and i call it get so i can remove the public and i say get with a capital x and then on the setter i can simply say set with a capital x one more time but now it says hey the x and y or x basically is a private thing you cannot change it so let's convert it to protected like here and now everything is fine and this time it says hey you don't have any set x so i can comment it and it says hey you don't have a small x what you have if i run it you have capital x and see the magic here this is saying that x is a property but we know that we don't have a capital x as the property so if i try to access it yes we are having it and similar to that we can assign the value to the capital x and yes it is working but it's not important to have the name as capital you can name it anything so anything could be the name but then the property will become as anything so now if i say dot and you can see the property is anything which is anything <laughs> so this is how we get the we create the getter and setter and we understand the public private and protected thing in typescript so if you like this episode <laughs> episode if you like this episode please give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to bitfumes youtube channel like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye